Okay, so in this video, we're going to uh, download R and download R Studio. So to install R Studio, you first of all have to be able to run um, R. And we need to download R from from um, from CRAN. So let's go to Windows R, and then we look for the latest version, it's quite small, uh, download R uh, 4.0.2. And it's downloading here, so let's just pause. And the executable file is almost there, so let's open that up and run an installation. And English is fine. Uh, we read through the general license. We go next. Uh, programs are that directory looks fine. We could change by using brown browse, but that's fine. And uh, we install all, right? And we'll accept uh, defaults, right? Which is just the easiest. Um, or again, that's fine. And we'll just accept the defaults. And we'll pause. Okay, so the process is almost complete here. And finish. Okay, so if we now go into, I look for R. Um, the R folder is there, um, apps, yeah, R64, and it should, the application should open up. Now I can, so this, uh, our GUI seems to, uh, work. Uh, next thing we need to do is go back into, uh, Google and search for for R Studio, download R Studio, download. Okay, so we we can install our R Studio, but as a prerequisite, we need to install R Studio. So R Studio, download R Studio, and we're looking for uh, the Windows. Now there's a few different editions: R Studio Desktop all the way to RStudio Server Pro, and not everything is free, um, but we're interested in RStudio Desktop. Okay, and you can get this in for Mac, and for uh, Linux, and for uh, like what we have here, Windows. Okay, so let's download this open source license. Let's download integrated tools for R. Um, and it has the benefit of uh, of being free. Okay, so let's download and let's get the Windows edition. So Windows 10 8, 7, okay, that covers us. And it takes a little while. Now there's a few different um, versions here because we've windows we just make sure we have the windows edition in the download and then we run through the steps here of installation so we double click um, okay so welcome to our studio setup next uh, we could put in a different location, different destination folder, but this one is fine. So we'll take the default and we'll install and maybe pause for a moment while that's taking place. Okay, and now we want to complete the process. So we just finish and we can come down here and look for our studio and the app is available. So let's... Uh, open it up and uh, we have some pre-existing code um, so okay I'm gonna 
just basically, normally if this is your first installation, um, this will not appear. So in fact, what you would get is a blank script or script file, new script or script, and it would appear like this. And to run a test, you would basically look for um, sample code. So um, sample or code. And uh, we can review Okay, so our sample code. I think we have something here, sample vector. Okay, let's just copy this. Copy. Go back into our studio. And paste. And I think it'll run. And uh, you can see here we get the values uh, one, two, three. So we get the values from uh, one to 10. Okay, now if we um, just show you how I found this code uh, here, if we want to run a package in R, um, normally. Uh, you're not going to have many if it's your first installation you won't have all these packages but uh, we might look for deriv markets it's not there okay so there's a a package that i would like to install from the cran repository it's called deriv markets i'm going to install and it takes a little while um but in fact, it's fully installed and now we have it here. If I tick on this box, it becomes available. Uh, we can invoke that package. Okay, so let's get some little bit of a snippet of code here again to run a test. The test I'm gonna run is the Black Shoals call. So BS uh, option, BS call. I think any of these would be fine. This one here I used before. And if we just take the example that's provided here, we can copy the code, we can paste, and we can run the code and see what output we get. And um, okay, so let's run. Okay, so we enter our parameters and then run BS call. And we get a value of 278.4. And then if we change these variables, if S is changed to 100, K is changed to 100, uh, the volatility 20%, the risk free rate 5, Uh, T equal to one year and the dividend equal to zero. If I run this, you'll notice that the parameter inputs update and then we execute the function um, and we get 1045 and that's correct. Okay, so basically we've installed R, installed R Studio and ran some sample code so we know that the we know now the package is working that the uh and the uh this r studio ide is is working